This is the pro bike of Bora Argon 18's Paul Vo. Hi. Hello, Paul. Hi, hey, mate. Thanks for coming along. Uh, well, while you're here, yeah. I can't believe you're just walking by. Do you fancy taking us through this rather nice looking bike? And I believe, from down here a little while, this is your breakaway bike. Why exactly is that? Yeah, exactly, that's my breakaway bike. Yeah, I choose that because it's uh, the fastest bike we have. Okay. It's the aero bike, and um, yeah, as you can see, like everything possible is aero on this bike, like uh, even the, the spacers are aero, and um, brakes are in integrated, and yeah, it's just the fastest setup we can have. My standard is like 53, uh, 39, and um, 11, 25 usually. So Paul, I see you've got speed play pedals. What about the power meter system on this bike? Yeah, we use Power to Max, and uh, actually, I think right now I have a prototype on it. So we we're trying new uh, new products for them, and uh, they're working quite well. They got also a bit lighter, okay. and um, yeah, I'm really happy with them. Great, and I see you've got just on here. If you just zoom in there, you've got a nice satellite shifter as well. Is that just for ease of changing uh, in the climb, for example, running on the tops? Yeah. I usually ride on the tops when, I, when it's easy and I, yeah, just to relax and also have like the sprint shifters on the bike so I have, yeah. I have really every possibility to change my gears. Would you use this in the mountains as well? Is it a bike you prefer to use all the time or more for the flat stages? Because of course on stage one of this year's tour you went in the breakaway and took the only climb of the day and wore the polka dot jersey yeah. on day one. Uh, it's, it really depends on the course. Like, yeah, like yesterday was or like when there's a lot of mountains, like five or six mountains, I don't use it. But if there's just like two or three and in the start it's flat, then I prefer the aero bike because it gives you a big advantage compared to the guys on the normal bike and also wear my skin suit then. So to have like, to be as aero as possible. So you've got a, a pretty aggressive position. It's not quite fully slammed, but you've got a very long stem. What's that, a 13 centimeter uh, stem? 14. 14 centimeter yeah. stem. And again, your position is pushed quite forward. So it's, it's quite near like what we see on a TT bike. It, it is a really aero position you've got. It is, yeah. Like I changed my setup this year and uh, to be more comfortable and to, to actually ride more aero, like to be able to ride in the drops and uh, also like leaning on the, on the shifters okay, more, course, yeah. more aero. So what, I mean, you've talked about 53, 30. Now what length cranks do you normally run? Uh, 172.5. Okay, and we've gone for the Vision Metron 55s there. Pretty aero. You can go deeper as well on these if you wanted to, couldn't you? I could take the 81s, okay. which I do sometimes, but then it has to really be pan flat and like no corners. Otherwise, it's for me too hard to accelerate. <laughs> okay, and finally, the sort of, what, what tyres are you actually running on? Because these are pretty, pretty nice looking tyres. Yeah, There's some new tyres from Vittoria called Corso. And um, I think last year we had the, the fastest tyre in the peloton, like especially in the red. And they have improved it even, even more and uh, they're pretty amazing. So you can, you can feel when you go in the corner that they're just really sticking to the ground. And also in the red, they're in my eyes the best there. Yeah. So what kind of width choice do you have? What, what width tyre do you prefer? 25. 25 millimeter all the time, all so the wh time. whatever the sort of stage. Yeah. So like, I know in the past was like 19 or 21, everyone thought it's the fastest, but I think studies show like 25 is actually gives you more comfort and uh, because of more comfort, also more speed. 7.350 kilograms, which is pretty light for an aero bike and deep and kind of semi deep section wheels. It is, yeah, I'm surprised. Well, Paul, thanks very much for talking us through this Nitrogen Pro from Argon 18. Uh, and if you want, to look at some more pro bikes we've got a playlist of those just up here and for some specific tour de france content if i can get my words out click just down here paul thank you very much thank you, if man. you want to subscribe to gca how about clicking on the globe just in between us two now and don't forget to share and like this video too